Hello everybody. It is Thursday, April 15th. Did you do your taxes yet? If not, don't worry. I guess tax day got pushed back by a month. It is uh, 2020s, isn't it? 2020s, 2021, 2020s. the 2020s. Hopefully. That's what we're going to call it until we all uh, recover. The 2020s. Anyway, guys, this is a white belt class for Thursday. As always, make sure you guys do your warm-ups. So pause the video, click on curriculum, click on leave online, do your warm-ups. Make sure you're doing those push-ups right because 2021 is the year of the push-up. We'll see you back here in a few minutes. All right, welcome back. All right, white belts, we're changing things up a lot today. This is going to be a very different type of class. So today, I want you to think about something here for a second. Most of the stuff that we do, we're working on a range from our attacker where our opponent is, defense stance, at a range where I can reach him with my punches or my kicks without having to change my distance from him without moving in, without moving out. Today, what we're gonna talk about is this opponent is right on top of me. He's a lot closer to me. He's here, he's in my grill. Okay, now from here, get in the stance, straight forward. Okay, he's too close for me to effectively punch him because my hands are kinda of jammed up here. So what I need to do is use a shorter range weapon. So right here, bang, I'm gonna hit with that crossing elbow. That crossing elbow, now we're gonna hit with the blade of the arm right here, okay? My palm of my hand is facing down. I don't want to rotate it because then I'm hitting, hitting with the meat of the arm. So I'm going to hit with the blade of the arm there. And I'm just going to come across the target just like that. Now, it's interesting here at White Belt, you learn a couple elbows right off the bat. So we're going to teach you guys. Um, I'm going to real quickly show you a number of different elbow strikes. Don't worry about knowing them, but the elbow can come from so many different directions. We learn the crossing elbow. We revert, learn a reverse elbow. We learn an ascending elbow, which goes up. We learn a descending elbow, which goes down. We learn step through elbows like this. We learn inverted elbows, that means they're upside down. We even learn spinning elbows that come back. We can learn elbows that strike straight back and into the body. None of those elbows hit with the tip of the elbow. We hit with the blade of the arm right here. Okay, so again, the elbow strike that we're doing right now is that crossing elbow. I'm here, I'm using my back arm, I'm pivoting on my back, but just like I'm doing a back punch, and I'm striking with that bladed arm. So we're gonna get in our defensive stance here. We're gonna pivot across and back. Pivot across. So we're hitting with that bladed arm coming right out at you, right back. Pivot across and back. Ready, go. Kia, go. Kia, go. Kia, go. Kia, go. Kia, go. Kia, go. Kia. Switch your stance. Remember, don't forget that pivot. Keep the other hand up. Arms not dropping like a uh, Remember that Spider-Man action figure you used to have? He squeezed his squeeze legs. legs. Yeah, he squeezed right. the legs and the arms of this. All right, Lucas, dress you Lucas with little. Okay, so we're going to pivot across and back. Pivot across and back. Ready, go. Kia, 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 go. Kia. Good, so now we're going to try it on a target. Okay, Josh is going to hold this for me. Now, when I, when I do set a target, I have to be very, very close to the target here. So, um, let's, uh, I'll go on my right first. Okay, hold this out in front of you. So, my front foot is gonna be basically, if you look straight down, it's in line with that target here. I can't do it at my normal punching distance because then my elbow won't reach. So I'm gonna hit right here. Ready, go, Kia. You say go, I'll go. Go, Kia. Go, Kia. Go, Kia. Go, Kia. I'm gonna do 25 on this side, and 25 on this side. Again, I'm nice and close. I'm pivoting, I'm hitting with the blade of the arm right there. Not hitting with the tip of the elbow. That's the funny bone, and it's not really funny when you hit the funny bone. Ready? Go, Kia. 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 25 on both your left and your right. Pause the video, come back when you guys are done. Awesome. Welcome back. So now, we're still really close to that opponent. You can put that down for a second. Okay, Josh is really, really close to me here. But now maybe my arms are tied up, or he's protecting his upper body well. So I want to use a sh a, another short range weapon that's going to go more into the body here. So we're going to use our knee strikes. Boom. Now when we hit with the knee strike, again, I'm not going to hit with the tip of the knee. Okay, you're going to hurt your kneecap. I'm going to hit with the surface area right here. So I have to use my hips as I do this knee strike. So I'm grabbing on the Joshu, and I'm driving that knee in. Grabbing on the Joshu, bringing that knee in. Boom. Boom, right here. 
right there. The knee strike can go into the groin, it can go into the body, it can even whew, right into the head, okay? So we're gonna do that knee strike here in the air. I'm gonna use my back leg. The hips have to move, that gives you power. Okay, reach out, grab onto your imaginary opponent. Bring your knee up and smash. Kia. Bring your up, knee up, and kia. Go, kia. Go, kia. Go, kia. Go, kia. Go, kia. Go, kia. Switch your stance. Ready, grab on. Using that back leg. Ready, go, kia. 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 Go. Kia. All right, guys, so now we're going to try that on the target. <clears throat> Josh is going to hold that target out for me. Okay, I'm just going to put my hands here, grabbing onto them, just like I'm grabbing on that opponent's head, bringing that back knee up. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. I'm going to do 25 on both my left and the right. Pause video, come back when you guys are done. You can put that back now, Josh. On that side, you can put it over. There. Ah. We're not using it in the next class. All right, good job, guys. So, real quick, I want to talk about your key word for today. It's consistency. Now, consistency means doing something on a regular basis, having a regular routine, not uh, falling off uh, your schedule of things. Now, it, it gets hard here in the spring. I understand that because you know the weather's nice, and sometimes you'd rather be outside than inside or our, our spring sports are kicking off, or, or we want to barbecue after work, or whatever it is, we have, we're, we come home and we're like, wow, it's, it's just really nice, and I just I want to be outside or doing something else. And you go, you think to yourself, oh, I'm gonna skip tonight's training. And I'm gonna skip tomorrow night's training. And eventually, guys, what ends up happening here is you guys get off your regular routine of training two to three times a week. I know that spring sports make things crazy too, because you might have a very busy sports schedule, but that's why we have a flexible, Scheduled here at Leading Edge that you can pick any days that you want to come. But what you have to do, guys, in order to have your long-term su success is be consistent. Train two times a week. If you can't get to class, refer to our online videos. If you can't find a new online video, we have a library of over a year's worth now of Lima online classes. You can do any of those classes so that you can make it up. So if you can't be on the mat twice this week, do one online and one in person. Whatever you have to do to stay consistent. If you're doing things consistently on a regular schedule, a regular basis, you're going to have the most success. Think of brushing your teeth. You can't brush your teeth today and then skip the next three days and then brush your teeth twice the next day and then skip the next week and hope it works. Your teeth are going to rot and fall out. But if you brush your teeth twice a day consistently, you're going to be fine. you got to be consistent. All right, guys, we're going to work on self-defense number four. Josh, you ready? Sensei. All right. Oops. Okay. So Joshi's going to grab on to me right here. Okay. And he says, Gotcha, kid. No way, dude. Okay. I'm going to put my hands up like this. I'm going to smash him right in the ears. Now, if you've never been clapping the ears before, gently do this to yourself. Now imagine this. Ooh, not good. Not good. So, grabs on there. Gotcha, kid. No way, dude. I'm going to smash my knee here, kick him between the legs, and then we're going to do what we call a palm strike right to the nose. Kia, I'm going to turn his nose into a pancake. You know what kind of pancake? Chocolate chip. That's the best kind. Watch again. Gotcha, kid. No way, dude. Now, I don't want to really hit him in the ears because his mom will get mad at me, so I'm going to clap over his head and I can barely reach anymore. And I kick, and I palm strike. Watch when I grab Joe's shoe. Gotcha, kid. No way, dude. Claps, kicks. Palm strike, Kia. All right, let's try it together, guys. Ready? Stranger's got you. He says, got you, kid. You say, no way, dude. Hands up. Clap him. Kick him. Palm strike, Kia. Let's try it again. Got you, kid. No way, dude. Clap him. Kick him. Palm strike, Kia. One more time. Got you, kid. No way, dude. Clap him. Kick him. Palm strike, Kia. All right, guys. Thanks for training hard today. Get lots of reps in. Get your practice in. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks for being leaning strong. We'll see you online and we'll see you on the map. Oops.